Okay, welcome back. This is part 14 of my personal messaging system tutorial series. Ah, I got it right for once. Um, and uh, in the last video, what we did is we uh, successfully completed our select all delete. Um, and uh, like I said, is I was going to reset these values to make it so they're technically not deleted. Um, so technically they're not deleted, so it's showing them now. Um, so, yeah, so let's go back to our delete page, and, um, we have our else right here, that has no code inside of it, um, and we're gonna start actually editing this code now, um, which I am going to copy and paste this query, or that entire code inside of the select all, and I'm going to paste it inside of that. Um, so, what we're going to do, what that, what, uh, the reason we're doing that is because we're going to uh, change our, in, we're going to change the inside of our while loop. So, uh, inside of our while loop, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the information, we're going to get the uh, ID, the message ID, from every message that this user has. And uh, we're going to loop through uh, after we've gotten that. So we're going to say dollar sign msg underscore id uh, equals dollar sign row brackets and then quotation marks. And inside of here, we just want to put id. Um, where to use or equals username. Yeah, that's right. Um, so after that, what we want to do is we want to... Um, uh, we want to get our uh, checkbox, and we're gonna say checkbox equals dollar sign underscore post. And uh, what we're doing is we're getting the name of the post, which is uh, CB, because we named or not not the name of the post, but the name of the uh, the checkbox for each user is uh, the name is checkbox and then the message ID so we're gonna get uh, checkbox and then we're gonna say dollar sign msg underscore ID so we're going to say uh, um, we're gonna say if checkbox so dollar sign checkbox uh, and then we're gonna have our brackets And then right there, uh, putting our other bracket there and indenting the code. Um, so we're going to say if checkbox. So that means if the checkbox does exist, which means it'll have a value, which means uh, if the checkbox has a value, that means it'll exist. Um, now, if there's no message ID, this uh, message ID, uh, or if this is not found, so this message was not selected using the checkbox, um, yeah, I totally confused myself, and probably whoever's watching this. So what this is doing is it's looping through, getting the ID of each message, then checking to see if the uh, checkbox appropriately uh, named to that message has been selected. And if it is selected, we're going to update it and say it's deleted. There we go. So we're going to change this in here, and we're going to change... We're going to say, and... Uh, ID equals dollar sign msg underscore ID. So that's going to loop through and that's going to delete individual messages. And then uh -huh. then after our while loop, uh, our echo statement is all messages have been deleted. We're going to change that to the selected messages have been deleted and it's also going to have the uh, if you do not want this please contact a, contact a site administrator uh, so we're going to test this out we're going to refresh so we have our three messages here now I'm going to delete this first one right here and I'm going to click the RE test I'm going to click delete the selected messages have been deleted so if we go back to our inbox page we still have that message why I wonder if it updated in here, because, uh, oh, joy, it didn't update. 
Uh, so the problem. CB ID. We may have a problem with our form. No, this shouldn't be a problem with the form. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll be back momentarily, hopefully figuring out what was wrong with it. Okay, so I think I figured, found out what the problem is. Is I spelled the uh, MSG ID underscore ID wrong in our uh, update statement. So, if we select our first one again and click delete, the message has been delete. Id, and it's still not working. Hmm. The two user. That's still not updating for one reason or another. Set two delete equals to one. Where that and that. Okay, let's try it where just ID. So, select that, click delete, right through inbox, and it's still not working. Alright, well, I'm going to pause the video again and figure out what's wrong with it. Okay, so uh, you can see the code right here. Uh, I did change the code up a little bit. Um, well, what, it, what the problem was is because we were trying to combine uh, these two values inside of the uh, the post method right here uh, and it just wasn't liking that for whatever reason I don't know why uh, so what we did what I did is I combined those values in a variable before this and then just put that variable in uh, now when you put this variable in you do not put any sort of quotation marks or anything uh, that also could have been the problem uh, but this fixes the problem uh, so if we select our first message right there we click delete the selected messages have been deleted. Inbox, we now no longer have that message. Yay! Go to our messages again. And we scroll over, because that's where our RE test is. And that's set to 1. So that successfully deletes the messages uh, for our inbox. Now, for the outbox, it's literally like the exact same code once again. So on the inside of our inbox, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste all of the code from there to there, and I'm going to paste it right inside of here. Now, um, I'm going to scroll over so we can see our uh, two queries right here, um, or our three queries, two queries in our update, whatever. Uh, you can see our queries here. We have our two. We're going to change this to from. We have two right there. Change it to from two right there and change it to from and right here also this should well I did also change this uh, I don't want to close it um, so this also I changed this down here the update messages for each uh, each message selected uh, you don't need to have that though you can leave that as it was but all the twos you need to change them to from uh, that's very important. Uh, so, if we refresh, which actually we didn't need to refresh, but let's delete the uh, RE uh, welcome to the site. Let's delete that one. Go back to our inbox, and we still have that displayed. But if we refresh our page, we have our RE welcome to the site. Or, or we just have our welcome to the site. We scroll over. That was not updated. Joy. So. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to take a look at the geek code for these pages. And uh, I think I found the problem uh, right here. We forgot to change that to from. So, let's select the RE welcome to the site. And let's delete it. Go back to our inbox. Still being shown. Oh! This is starting to make me angry. 
Okay. So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, I will show you how to fix this problem. And we will also fix the problem of uh, that if the user deletes all their messages um, using how we're deleting them, if the user deletes all of them, it'll just show this top little bar. And we want to display the, uh, the message that says uh, you do not have any messages in your inbox or outbox, whichever one it may be. So we'll fix that in the next video. So check out the next video.